一百一十七 The Daily Mail Daily Mail London Business Briefs Column 二零一五年七月十七日 Source Daily Mail London July 十七 A small Oxford-based cancer drug developer has secured the biggest ever private fundraising by a European biotech, collecting million 三百二十 M 英镑 sterling 二百零五 M from investors, including Neil Whitford. Immunicore's fortunes were transformed overnight, giving it the firepower to accelerate its pipeline of medicines that are designed to fight tumors in new ways. Chief Executive Elliot Forster said the investment by some of the healthcare industry's most highly regarded institutions was an endorsement of Immunicore's technology. The cash will be used to develop its most advanced drug, I'm C G P Yapa. Which targets skin cancer and has already produced positive data from clinical trials. Immunicore already has research and licensing agreements with pharmaceuticals Jeff Waits, Eli Lilly, Roche, GlaxoSmithKline, and AstraZeneca. The fundraising walls oversubscribed, and a number of existing investors were involved, including Irish Life Sciences investment firm Willen. The deal is understood to be the second largest private biotech financing behind the million C buttons up am raised by U.S. based Moderna Therapeutics earlier this year. Woodford Investment Management, set up by former Invesco fund manager Neil Woodford, has been a big backer of all biotech companies. Immunicore emerged from a business called Avidex, which span out of Oxford University in the Yachting Gobag Gosapes. Base mammoth contribution B systems single-handedly generates pounds sterling to them go B N a year of gross domestic product for the whole economy through the manufacturing of combat planes, warships, and submarines and other defense-related equipment. The major contribution the F T S E Yapak arms dealer makes to Britain's economy was yesterday laid bare by a report from the influential Oxford Economics Research Group. It found B alone accounts for yet P C of all exports worth pounds sterling something but B N and supports skilled jobs as well as an extensive supply chain of small to medium-sized businesses. Oxford Economics also highlighted the productivity of the company's Samang workers, each of whom contributes an average Yingbong sterling goman ngtin in output more than double the national average. Chairman Sir Roger Ka said, "Our business and the many thousands of companies we work with across our supply chain are driving prosperity throughout the world." Speaking at the launch of the research. Business Secretary Sajid Javid said B's productivity was not replicated across British industry, adding, "We can't allow that situation to continue." Rake vows to stay put at Barclays. Barclays Deputy Chairman Sir Mike Rake will stay on until a new chief executive is found following the ousting of Anthony Jenkins. The bank said yesterday. There had been speculation around Rick's future at the group as it was announced he was to become chairman of payments processing firm WorldPay in September. A week ago, Rick was instrumental in the ousting of Barclays chief executive Anthony Jenkins. The arrival of Chairman John McFarlane three months ago has raised concerns in the city about a rapid change of senior management. On Wednesday, Rick himself quit Barclays. Having worked as deputy chairman and the bank's senior non-executive director, it is believed that city regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority, intervened to block Rick's imminent departure amid concerns too much power would rest with McFarlane, who has stepped up to be executive chairman until a new chief executive can be appointed. Rick will, however, proceed to take up his new role at WorldPay, Barclays said. Any conflict of interest which may arise in respect of his chairmanship of WorldPay will be managed in the normal manner. The bank's shares closed at the morning P high at the Papasa P L L O Y D S C L O F F T H E. Government has sold to further yet P C stake in Lloyd's Banking Group, taking the taxpayer holding in the business to less than sub P C. 
Chancellor George Osborne described it as fantastic news that the government had now recovered more than plowed sterling sub sum BN from the group after its Yingdong sterling E sub BN bailout at the height of the financial crisis. Shares in the group are being sold gradually into the market under a trading plan launched last December and due to finish by the end of this year. Lloyd's shares finished the day's trading up shilling dim bun piet bus up look dim n yapi, Mike Ashley forced to slash profit forecasts failing to buy department store group household Fraser has forced Mike Ashley's sports direct international to cut its profit forecasts for next year. The sports were chain post to bumper ease of yet p c rise in pre tax profit to Ying Dong Sterling Sambak M for the year to April ease up block but a failure to make more acquisitions means it could miss previously set targets. The target for its lucrative bonus scheme for Yi Tinling Yisablog will now be reduced to pounds sterling Sabak Yisap M from pounds sterling Sabak Basap M. Despite missing out on buying up other businesses, Chief Executive Dave Forsey said he will continue to look at other opportunities. The strong results allowed the sports giant to play star for share of Ying Dong Sterling Sam Sub Tatam Windfall, 4C, Sports Direct's head of retail Karen Byers and head of buying Sean Nevitt will receive around 8 million shares he Jin Yi Tin Ling Yi Sub Tat valued at more than Ying Dong Sterling Tatam at yesterday's share price. Permanent staff will get a bonus of Ying Bong Sterling Yet Man Ba Tin in shares this September and Pound Sterling Ng Man Se Tin in Yi Tin Ling Yes Up Tat, but staff on casual contracts around Gao Sub P. C. of its workforce will miss out on the payout. Shares Rose Yi P. Po Tat Bak Sam Sub Lok Ding Ng P. Triumphant Telford shares in property developer Telford Homes Lipped mm, P C as it revealed it has already secured pounds sterling look but ease up M of sales for completion in its financial year to the end of March. The number is more than three and a half times the revenue reported last year. Telford said it was continuing to experience strong demand from investors, tenants and owner coupiers. Chief Executive John D. Stefanel said he welcomed measures to speed up the planning process. Shares closed yes up to dim to p up at sabak sam sub sam dim to p copyright c yi tin ling yes up daily mail london visit the daily mail london at www.dailymail.homeindex.html distributed by tribune content agency l l c